<laughs> All right, so jumping into the kitchen right now, we have the lovely Grace Stevens who joins us this morning ah. for something absolutely delicious that takes me back to my childhood years. We're making Mazina spiced pumpkin crumpets. Mm. Definitely one of those ingredients that's yeah. always been on Grandma's table, and I loved it. Grace, lovely to have you. How are you doing? Oh, it's so nice to be here. Yeah. That's so yeah. cool. Oh, it's cool, man. Can you feel the holiday vibes? So are you soaking it up? Oh, Kids on holiday I already? Am. I almost wore my antlers. <laughs> you should have. You should have. <laughs> Listen, so, so let's talk about this recipe. Using Mazina, which is definitely a family favorite. You know, oh, it's been around yes. for ages and it's always there. It's not, so much more than just your thickener. Oh, okay. of course. Because yeah. this is great for your gluten-free people. Because ah. there's no gluten in this. This added to just about any recipe is just going to give you that extra light and yes. fluffiness to whatever you're making. Yeah. So, yeah, it's amazing. So we're going to put it in. <laughs> amazing is amazing. I love it. It <laughs> rhymes. So let's make these pumpkin crumpets. Oh, cool. um, because I've always wanted to learn how to make it. Um, because Grandma just always got it right. Oh, my nuts. Yes. Oh, my nuts. I see a cake for Ochen. Is he best than any adult? Okay. So, so, so we got some pumpkin that you've obviously cooked down. Yes, cooked down and then you just mash Mashed it. it. You okay. do want it a little bit fine. You also want some nice chunky bits for you to bite into. Right. And then my milk. Great. And brown sugar. Some brown sugar. Brown okay. sugar, yes. So brown sugar is the secret. You give that a little bit of a whisk just okay. to get it all mixed I'll up together. I'll combine that for us, yes. Then I've got my flour here and I'm going to put my mazina in here. These are just going to be extra fluffy with this. Okay. So just like, there we go. Okay, and Fantastic. then some baking powder, just to give you a little bit of a rise there. And yeah. of course, these are spiced pumpkin crumpets, so a little bit of cinnamon. That's yeah. always amazing, hey? 100%. Right. Okay, and this is obviously a very oh, wow. uh, great, if you have pumpkin left over, um, if yes. you're going to be making pumpkin, pumpkin is always considered to be festive, um, especially over this time, paired with your meats and stuff. So if you have left over, Bam! Yes, this. you use all your leftover roasted pumpkin. Yes. Just has the most amazing full, full flavor. So that is also great if you just put your um, pumpkin in. Of course, butternut if you can't find pumpkin. Yes, butternut, butternut can do the trick as well. But look how smooth that is, Grace. Oh, you've done such yeah. a great job here. So with the addition of the mezina now, so it will lit it will just bring it up You'll a little bit. You'll just taste that it. it's very light. Yeah. It's a lot lighter, your batter. Okay. Okay, so it's, it's, it's actually quite easy, actually. It's, oh, this is, this I think is it. I remember it just tasting so good, and I was like, but it must be difficult <laughs> to make oh, this. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I think that this is grandma's secret. That's the one. Okay, cool. That it cool. takes about five minutes just to whip it up. <laughs> so I've got a nice warm pan here, and I'm going to put some oil in here. Yeah. Just a little bit. That I want to see. To do that, that I want to see. All right, cool. Well, if you want to get your um, hands on the recipe, the keyword is DISH, SMZ to 33728. It's DISH to 33728, and we will most gladly send you the ingredients uh, list as long as a uh, link to the actual recipe that you can go make. So just pop it into some hot oil. Yes. And, and you fry it off. You fry it about three or four minutes until it's nice and golden brown on each oh, side. And the cinnamon in there, yes. And you know there's a rule, first one out is for the baker. Ah, you see now. Yes. Now these things are very, very special. The keyword is dish, it's that to 33728 if you want to get your hands on that recipe. And it's as simple as that, Grace? It is. Lovely. It's as simple as eating them. Oh really? Do I'm you gonna, want to? I'm, I'm so going to try one, because we just have to. You. I mean, look at that. Oh. Mmm. -hmm. Yes. That's beautiful. This is the most beautiful side to a lovely gammon. Mm. It's Roast sweet. Roast chicken. Absolutely. I'll You're finish this just a bit. Dish is a keyword. SMS that to 33728. Thank you very much, Grace. Really appreciate it. Um, go check it out on our website, expressoshow.com as well. Easy like that. But really, the versatility of Mazina is not just the thickener. We spoke about that. But um, uh, other ways you can use it in, like you said, soups as well. You can and use soups. It's also a really great cookies, idea. If you half, you substitute your flour for half yeah, your Mazina, yeah, yeah. stunning Absolutely. cookies. Absolutely. Dish is the keyword. SMS that to 33728. Go make your very own pumpkin fritters. Or can I start pumpkin fritters? Um, sorry, eat is the keyword. The keyword is eat. SMS that to 33728. That's eat uh, to 33728. If you want to get your hands on the recipe and a link to the recipe as that as well. But as always, it will be on our website, expressoshow.com. Of course, Mazina is a strong brand, full of heritage. Uh, it's also a global brand. And uh, these kind of meals with uh, pumpkin comforts and so it just brings families together over the festive season. Try this one out. 
8233728. Thanks, Grace. I'm going to continue. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs>